Hello, greetings and salutations. This is Ison Quinn back with episode number two in Attila Total War or Total War Attila, uh, where I'm playing the the Franks right now. If you didn't catch the last episode, you might want to take a quick look at it because it's lengthy. It has a battle in it. Uh, we finally did take uh, uh, Telefertum, and we've we already started out with uh, Flavium, but. Uh, I had mentioned earlier that we we might end up renaming some of these. There has to be a way to rename them. I'm pretty sure there is. And I'm sure it's obvious too. Let me go to Flavium. She says that's the garrison. Historical names, but we shouldn't uh, allow that to stop us. Quit giving me all those other menus. Hmm. Uh, obviously, we have another menu. I think it's this one here. Nope, that's not it. This one. This panel shows go. statistical information about the selected province. The right hand section mm -hmm. shows the elements affecting and status of public order. And the left-hand section shows the factors contributing to the wealth of the local economy. Use the checkbox in the bottom left-hand go corner of the panel to exempt it from taxation. Okay. Great. Uh, in the last episode, I, I discussed actually some they, they have it here, the Aryan Christianity, which is on the uprise, and the Germanic paganism going down. Probably going to promote more Germanic paganism. We just took over Saxon city, which probably helped promote... Uh, some of the Aryan Christianity. We have corruption. We're going to need to correct that. We need to improve our income. And we're having sanitation problems and squalor problems. I'm here with my co-host, Thackeray the Cat, who was here last episode not quite as vigorously. Uh, now he is, and he's definitely wanting to get involved in the action. So when you hear the mic being bumped, that will be him trying to grab it. He loves microphones. And let me see if I can situate him oh good go. come on there we go you don't need the microphone that's mine uh, I think I keep him from doing it huh so we can rename this settlement we're going to call it uh, something like gray shores we'll use the British gray though since we're in Europe uh, because it's near the shores yeah, not gray shoes though. And uh, we'll call this, uh, it's a little bit on a hot hill, so. High Hilton. High Hilton? No, we won't call it Hilton. Ton is normally what you put on the end to name a city this way. I'll have an idea where they're at because I won't remember all the original names. All right, so this is our mayor. And we were debating whether we wanted to go after the the Angles uh, next from last episode. But we're going to need a turn. In fact, we have to do a, a turn change here to see if we can recoup some money. Our population is right now minus 22. So let's see if we can promote some uh, happiness public order up to plus four from presence of Germanic paganism uh, research rate minus oh, plus two okay so let's go ahead and switch it to that All right, and see if we can improve the situation with this uh, turn change see if so we've done everything we have the jutes off our coast here as though they're just waiting to get into Greyshores. Shall we hack at each other until our enemies can gorge themselves on warriors' flesh? Or will it be peace? Uh, I don't want anything else from the Saxons. They are migrating. That's what this means. So if they're wanting to pay me for a peace treaty, that sounds good to me. Who they at war with? Us and Western Roman. Yeah, I have no problem with peace treaty. You guys don't have a home. My people value strength and courage. 
But wisdom too should be admired. He got a big beard for 16, Elsa. Just saying. Well, okay, well. We drove them from their home. Uh, and the Danes. Gathers, for you could be the light for my people. I ask humbly for a treaty. Uh, yeah, I offered it last turn. You turned us down, but sounds good. What about some... Talk can be tasteless, but when we have agreement, it makes wine sweeter and gives meat savor. Okay, well, you know, those things I rather enjoy even without talk, but I'm, I'm willing to go along. Wine and red meat. Grilled steak. A little bit of uh, red wine. Uh, for uh, uh, actually a, a Merlot. Ironically, uh, given the country I'm, I'm conquering, uh, or or Shiraz, which I don't think was even uh, created over here. I see what the rest of the world is up to. There's no way to speed this up. And let no man tear asunder. These two have okay. So we have taken a bride. We don't get to see her, I guess, until he's in his thirties. He needs to get a bride so he can have an heir. Let's take a look and see what a bride is like. Okay, so so far, personal hostile agent success plus five percent. Okay, so she's not going to help us there, but she's getting a little bit of personal influence. Is there any chance we're going to have a child? Let's turn this on here. I uh, I'll keep turning everything on and off, don't I? He's still age 30, so I think we're just in the winter. This game now does, uh, winter, well, this game compared to when I played Rome, you have a winter uh, mode, so. So this Emmerich here has had a bastard, so we don't want to make, well, she couldn't be heir of the throne because she's female, but there's all sorts of rules about that back then. Uh, Slodio is a proper heir, although, uh, this line here means that uh, Thedemer has been adopted into the family. So th this is a proper heir, our admiral. He seems to be playing a little bit fast and loose, you know, that or his wife is. And, uh, well, being the high king right now, I, I much prefer to have somebody uh, who's my ear. I think that's the way it works. Uh, take over the Roman Empire later. Okay. These guys are still all being trained. We need to make a decision here on what's going on in our cities. We had to tear down this. We've got a burg now at six grand to make it a small city. Don't have that much money yet. Stores and this will give us sanitation, which we could use. We have three grand, fifty percent food reserves. That that would help out with. We're about to get plague here. Fifteen hundred. Uh, give us some more uh, military. But what was this going to do? This is going to be everything that we can't afford. This will unlock. Uh, I thought we already unlocked some of the the uh, Frankish Lancers, but maybe not. Uh, the mounted war band, which wouldn't be bad. More mounts, the, the better. Mm. Plus 20 to food, 42 additional food, plus 14 per local based on fertility. Wealth, 30, 75 additional wealth, 25 from, okay. So is this better, or is... Are these the same thing? Yeah, this is... Okay, we're looking to go to fields here or looking to go to fields here. That was really the same thing. Are they... Yeah, they're all three the same thing. And what was this an upgrade to? Stores. We definitely need to do this. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. So we need the sanitation. Before we kill all of our people with the plague. And that leaves us with not enough money here to do anything and or invade. Didn't mean to do that. 
Uh, let's see. We're at plus seven now. Which helps. We've, I thought we have a general Ready for orders. in the city, which usually will improve things again in both cities. Uh, not an army big enough that I would invade. The angle's with you. Uh, so I think we're going to have to wait. We, we haven't even replenished yet. We don't have enough money to do much of anything. Let's see if there's any new treaties we can make. Uh, it looks like the Keldonians are not particularly fond of us. Why is that? Religious aversion. We're primarily Germanic paganism. Cultural aversion. They just don't like the way we live. And treaties, well, we do have a treaty with uh, Western Europe. Sadly, uh, it's improving. Uh, I'm keeping it because we're making some trade money off them. We have a non-aggression, and we're right next door. So the Vandals, you can't trust them as far as you can throw them. The Saxons, we just made a treaty with them, but I don't think they're going to be up for trade. We can try. We just took their homeland. Greetings. Now we're we'll speak plain and without idle purpose, and all will be well. We're a sure thrust strikes home after all. Okay. Yes. Let's try an aggression pack. A low. Yeah. We just took your homeland. Now we're willing to trade stuff from your homeland to you. So I, do, I don't blame you there. Okay. The Langlebirds. Uh, you know we're going to be attacking them, and and if you make a treaty, then break it. That causes more harm. Uh, these guys here, uh, you know, I don't intend to invade. The gods will have me listen to you, but do not pass the day in words without merit. Let's try a non-aggression. Low success, so that's not going to work. Yeah. I don't know why. Who is it that... Rugians. And we haven't declared war on the Rugians. I'm trying not to. Although, the Danes have... And I can see nothing but trouble coming out of that for us. The angles. I'm trying not to improve relationships because I am going to be attacking them. They'll, they'll cause every other... If having a deal and then breaking it, or making a deal and breaking it within 10 turns, hurts you in everyone's eyes because you're not reliable. So I guess we're just sort of stuck with what we have here for now. Yeah, I want to secure a province. This is the last place, Anglis. Uh, then we'll have the Rugians on our border. We need to find some other people. Who is this here? Uh, the Langlebards. It might be a little while, but I don't think it'll be ten turns before we attack the Langlebards. Mm, you know, it probably is going to be. It's about what you need in between. So let's see if we can... Make a treaty to get some money from the Langlebards. Greetings well, we to still you. can. I trust you come with honorable words that I can hear kindly. I don't know if we can just jump straight to this. Will they be willing to do it? Excellent. This agreement is like a feast after an empty belly. You are a truly worthy friend. You're really making me feel bad now, buddy. Because I'm eyeing your territory. Uh, and this goes all the way off the shore. I don't really want another coastal city to defend uh, the Jutes. We have a deal with the Jutes, I believe. Or maybe not. Uh, yeah, we have no trade deal. Let's see if we can... Greetings to you. I trust you come with honorable words that I can hear kindly. Yeah, I, I do, I think. And let us trade. How about we trade? They're not going to go for that. Why? I don't know. Can we make... Uh, we already have a non-aggression. I'm not going to do defense, because they're about to be hit by everyone in the, uh, the north. Military access. They're not going to agree to that, but... Yeah, see, it's low, so... I wouldn't agree to it either. Uh, I'm out on a peninsula up there. 
surrounded by everyone who's just looking to take over my country. These guys, they're not at war yet. They will be. I can't help but think they want to unify that province. And each one has a territory from that province. But we'll see. I could be wrong. All right, well, let's just go ahead and do, <clears throat> excuse me, a turn change here. See what happens. It's exciting. I keep hitting my teacup on the stand over here. It's a monitor stand uh, for those who are really that curious. Hmm. The Huns, we should be well buffered from the Huns right now. They should be closer to Byzantium. Uh, I can't help but be reminded of Bazinga every time I say Byzantium now. Hmm. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, if, if we isolate this... Let's see, Imperial level, uh, Imperium level, no, noteworthy. So we can raise more armies now, another fleet. We can have a second governor. We can get a spy if we have a facility to get a spy. And civil developments. Surely there is much to be learned that could improve our people's lives. Research the following technology, labor services. If we do that, uh, we'll get a reward, civil progress. Speaking of rewards, we do have missions that we can check I think there are they up here provinces forces factions where are our missions I should be checking those those are technology we just finished with that objectives here we go so survive to spring 400 we're at 396 so it looks like we might be able to do that Loot or sack three different settlements. Okay, well, I'm on my way to that. Labor service. Uh, research the following technology. Okay. Gather support. Carry out one political action, including the following. Current total five. Gather support. Mm, okay. That must be for uh, defense, defense agreement or military agreement. Maintain a total of 10 units of the following type. Freeman. Don't have them yet. And lastly, hold the entirety of the following province. Hmm. Well, I'm not getting particularly close to all those. <laughs> but... Maybe some. Let's go ahead next technology. We had just developed this to improve our economy. Uh, we need some of these to uh, open up other technologies, but we'll need some more military technologies. Smith. We're going to have to do the Smith or wood carver. It gives us a war band, replaces a war band with dramatic band. I'm going to do the blacksmith first because that will enable us to, uh, I think, improve some of our units. That will be three turns. Let's see. We're at 2,200 in income now, so we can upgrade some stuff. This is not built yet, so we haven't improved our sanitation, which is still causing some problems. We have two fields here and we can go different routes give us skirmishers and this one and well your screen went blank so did mine uh, I don't know what just reset there but well we'll look at that again oh, this is high hell yes Okay, so fields, skirmishers, and then what does the cal that's going to provide a garrison of lancers and mounted warband, and this provides us 
the garrison with Frankish Lancers and Frankish Skirmishers. The question is, do we need both? I think we might have plenty of food now. Let's take a look. What's our food 77? Yeah, we are doing well on food. So we could probably tear one of these down and replace it with something else. Upgrade one. Hmm. Or the cattle. The cattle, we get another 20 food, 162 additional wealth, and improve our garrison. So, and unlock that. So let's go ahead and do that. So we'll tear this down and try and build something else there. So I'll reproduce everything everywhere. Wood Carver, we're working on that technology right now, and we should we should be in a little bit. I hold, hold, uh, hold on. So. Hmm. my mic oh sorry checking my mic there so answering a question I'm not sure if hit my mic uh, all right so we need to work up to that technology anyhow and we've spent most of our our money which means another turn change of nothing exciting going on ah <sighs> Yeah. Nothing politically that we can do yet. A little bit of power, a little control. Need to work on those. But let's go ahead and do it. Now we're getting blank screens here. Something. Should probably reset the, the computer. Okay. The character has a skill point. Let's add that in. He's a governor, so we're going to put one here and see if we can help out with food, ammunition. Yeah, that looks like the better one. Let's try this one. And Yenabod has some points to be spent. We'll give it wolf. Cutting construction costs, horde. Uh, can we migrate? I guess we might be able to. What's this one? More cunning. Commander force. Let's give him a boost there and see if he has house minus 15 to armor. Nope, don't want that one. Just pass with that. Let's take a look. My character. I say my character. I, I like I'm playing a role-playing game. Nope. The king is who he is. Okay, so everybody has that same ability right now. So let's go ahead and do another turn change here. See if this fixes, uh, or I might have to just reboot. Yeah, we lost the background on that too. Reboot the whole thing. This is an old game. There shouldn't be any problems unless there's something else I was running. I had a bunch of games running earlier, so <laughs> before I started running this. So maybe we're having, uh, or there's a memory leak in the game itself. Uh, these guys are thinking about it. Uh, fortunately, there's uh, what, former London here. Yeah. It looks like they're quite unhappy there. What about here? And these are all, well, former... Uh, Roman provinces and cities. Border dispute. Along the border of our nation, a farmer from the neighboring state is claim, claiming land belonging to one of ours to one of ours as his own. Okay. Engage in faction politics. Yeah, so we're going to have to sell that dispute. Establish contact with the new faction. Abdinians. Angles and the Jutes. Knew it, but it's a perfect time for us to hit. 
that would work out quite well. And we have a farmstead now. So let's go into our faction politics and see what uh, Algrafid wants. We can ignore the dispute, take back the land by force, which is going to make some people unhappy. Such acts can spark wider political trouble, send in the troops and settle the matter. Hmm. Buy the land. Uh, I'm not going to buy the land because I don't think I can afford the land. Let's work out the development of the state. Yeah, I'm going to go that way. I don't want to, but uh, I have bigger fish to fry right now. Okay, let's see what we're doing. So we still got two turns for that technology. We do have the money to build a clay pit. Or now that we've increased it, this will increase our wealth by 450. I'm working on that right now. Gives a public, public disorder of minus two, but it's three grand. It's pretty pricey. And what can we do here? Hunting grounds? Yeah, we can improve that to farmstead. Artisan. Hunter shrine. Takes a lot of food for a hunter shrine, doesn't it? Let's bring some more wealth with the town center. Uh, we already have a farmstead, don't we? It's an artisan. No, we upgraded our farmstead, is what we did. And then I tore down a building. Hmm. gives us furs to trade 30 from animal it's 2500 is pretty expensive yeah we've already been over the farmstead 300 from wealth doesn't affect the public much public order doesn't increase our public order there Plus to be a town center. We're going to get wealth and uh, public order from that. And it's not as expensive as I would have thought. Because our public order is now at plus 10. So that should be going up a little bit. Let's see what we can recruit. As long as those guys are at war with each other. We want to be able to take advantage of it. So we could recruit some slingers. Not could, we're, we're going to. Uh, before we do anything, what is this city? Is it walled? It's a minor settlement, so we don't need an onager for that. No, no war machines. We might be able to get away without any uh, additional mercenaries they're the most expensive and uh, these are the pikes I, I do want some more pikes at least two units they're pretty cheap right now run out of money here Could possibly bring up our other general Yanabod and uh, these guys are almost replenished archers pikes we've got light horse here well it's, it's lancers so they're not too bad and we bring up the other general, and hopefully the navy. Oh, okay, good. The gates or yates are, are gone. So that's going to take a turn to recruit them. We will start moving our general to over here. He doesn't have a lot, but we don't have a lot of money left anyhow. These are still the wrong else? color. So that's bothering me. All right, and let's see what happens with our farmer friend. We do our turn change here. I figure by the time we take over Anglis, we'll pass enough time with uh, the Langobards to where we won't have any problem. Who are these people in our territory? Any problem when we cancel the, the tree that we just started? These are the the geats that are, are coming back. I, I think they would be more yeats, but I sound stranger than geats. <laughs> Gates. 
Okay. And there's a big world out there. A lot of territory for us to conquer. Okay, the bloodless ram. A ram hung uh, in sacred offering to the god. Gods, sorry. And this is still white. That's why I'm noticing over there. Uh, is completely bloodless. Not a single drop. I've seen this before. Squeeze from the creature. We must do something to appease the guts. Engage in more political faction stuff. Okay. Uh, sacrifice a human? No. Sacrifice more rams? No. I'm going to burn the ram. It's abomination. Let's burn it. Okay, we've got some more capital, which means we can increase our army just a little bit. At least with mercenaries, and then we can dismiss the mercenaries. These are all building right now, so let's go ahead and move on. Can we see anything up here? Because since these guys are at war, we might be able to... Get up there. We still have plenty of movement. Ready for orders. I'm completely replenished. Ready for further I don't orders. see an army there, but does it mean they're not? Because they don't have a spy yet. Okay, so what we can do is hire mercenaries. We don't have to wait a turn on that. And dramatic war band. It's a pretty good group to have along with these heavy lancers. A little bit a little bit more open. We're still fighting in a town probably. I could take more time to make them come out. Nordic Brigade. They're cheap, but these guys here. I'm gonna hire. And what can we do? Oh, the Herbon. More Axemen. No, we'll go with one cavalry unit. And... Well, hope that we have enough forces to take this city. We'll cross into their territory. Get uh, Yenabod up there close enough to where we can use him as a reinforcement. And let's see. Yeah, we're going to declare war. 38, they are at war with the Jutes. Yep. No, no, we have no one to join our side, so. War declared. Our warriors will march, and our women will prepare the victory feast for their return. Okay. You may be right. Did I not get close enough this turn? Is that what it is? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. None will escape. And I'm not getting anything over here that's useful. See if we can make it through this episode, then I'll reboot everything. Okay. So we're going to do another turn change. I still have 1800. So let me see if I can waste some more mercenaries. And some more pikemen. Which will come in handy, actually. These guys are... I think I've already hired some slingers. Did I not hire him? Is that what the problem is? Yeah, I didn't. Okay, so I hired him. Bring us down to 15. Let's try a couple more tribal pikemen. 90. That, that much of a... A group there. These guys are rough and tough, so. Uh, we'll try them. Okay, we'll do a turn change. Could put more in 
uh, Yenabod's units, but I'd rather have as many as possible when I hit. I wish I had enough space to get there this turn so they don't pull their troops back. Okay, are the Langlebards coming up into our territory because I don't think we made a military access agreement. And there come the Jutes. But I'm not at war with the Jutes. In fact, I want to maintain a treaty with them. so Because I do not want the mess that's up here. At least right now. I'd rather move south. Yeah, thought they'd get back just in time. What's the size of this force? I clicked on it. I shouldn't have. Emmerich. That was Emmerich. Emmerich family is so ill. Yeah, he's done it again. Uh, good golly. Well, probably smoothing over a possible uh, diplomatic incident. It will take some time before we can recoup the agricultural walls. Faltering supplies. Really? On the border dispute? Okay, what size army does he have? He has got a massive army. And one guy. Okay. Well, this is what we're here for. We might as well hire one more while we can. Since we can hire one and go on this turn, can we hire another? Yep. Or another cavalry unit. We'll overwhelm them that way, hopefully. Let's go ahead and see if we can finally take this city. So we're 22,041 plus 740. They're, they're just about the same. Although it shows us outnumbering them, maybe the quality of troops. So let's go ahead and engage in this battle and they have some unknowns there have lots of lancers <sighs> so I should have attacked them in the field instead of the city They have a garrison there, too. That oh, looks like a storm of blood allies is using a raven. Huh. You can change your uh, symbol for your army and your army name. So I might try that. Dry and I do not know what's going on here. I don't know if I have a virus scan that's up to no good terribly annoying though we need to see if we can get through this yeah I'll go ahead and start deployment as long as it doesn't keep doing that well it's going to keep doing that until I reboot it so why I don't know all right so there is a village we just have to get in there no real gates of the couple small walls don't know where their troops are. Our allies are going to come in from way over there someplace. That's why I want as many as possible. So let's go ahead and set them up. I have to pull some guys out of the way so we can put those archers in front. Yeah, put you over here. Swordsmen. Well, all of you pretty much are going to have to move so because we're in there so tight. Can't get the archers in. Even the generals up there. And those will be our special special forces. Okay, let's bring out the archers as far as we can there. And I'm going to use archers on one side and slingers on the other. Put them in front. The move you for now. And Slingers. Slingers actually can be pretty deadly. I might not have slingers on both sides if I have two sets of slingers. Yeah, I do. Ready for battle. Let's see if I can start them. No, can't start them that way, so they're going to have to go 
all the way over here. Or maybe coming in a second rank. We'll see. For now, I'm just going to lock them all up. Join them together. We'll group them. And we'll have them disperse. And now we've got... Heavy horsemen! Okay, heavy horsemen, we are going to move. Can I put them over here? No. So we're going to put them over on this side. Near the forest. It's winter when we're attacking. Never a good sign. Really, could you not just tell me where you're at? Versus raw. And more. Guys in a group. Move these guys all the way because I want to put pikemen in. We've got two more units. Three more units, actually. We've got two light horsemen. So we'll put the light horsemen down here for now. Heavy horsemen we're going to put in the trees. <laughs> Seems like a clear route. Some spaces. I want these pikemen up here at the the front line coming up. Uh, about that. We'll kill them all. Yeah, that's the go goal, guys. Kill them all. We'll fall in with our spearmen on this side. Another unit of spearmen. We have to fit through that gate, so I'm going to start doubling them up with these guys here do we have any more spearmen no that should be it so we can move the spearmen pikes Men of Germania. as one unit for now ready. Men of Germania. and then we're going to move these horses out of the way again Cavalry. swordsmen I'm not going to change their formation yet we're putting those as a flank protecting troop uh, i shall use these Swordsmen over here. These will be our special forces. These guys are pretty brutal. Put you in the center. And then we're going to have, are you light? Both are light, so we're going to put you, well, thought side by side there. Well, you guys sound enthused. And then we have another horse unit over here that will I'll move you swordsman in here to reinforce that line and then we'll put these guys here I'm going to keep most of the horses in reserve we'll maybe move those out okay let's go ahead and start and see where they're at when a unit of missile troops is selected, the skirmish mode button will appear. No, 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 it no. It can be toggled we want on all these or off, to go up here. but is set to off by default for all missile units. When in oh, skirmish here come their cavalry. Mode, units avoid getting into melee by keeping their distance from the enemy so let's and attacking with away. arrows, Thank you for javelins, me or slingshots. Information there. I don't have time to turn you off. Okay. Are you engaged? I need to stop those horses. Yeah. Oh my gosh, these guys just won't stop. You can stop, horsemen. I'm not talking to you to move yet. All you guys move forward. Form a line. I thought they were coming out to greet us. It doesn't look like they have cavalry. They do have some weapons. So let's see if we can. Okay, we're going to have to start launching these guys here. Let's do it with fire to see if we can cause some havoc in their lines. 
should focus it. Break that front line there. My co-host is trying to get a holy microphone now. And I should have reinforcements coming out. So let me see where they are. They're way over here. Who taught you guys how to help? Could you get any further off? Our hidden units have been discovered. Yeah, you can be quiet there. You guys are going to have to double time it over here to a flank. I think that means they're already moving fast. Now we need to break these lines with their skirmishers while the rest get in formation. Oh my gosh, what a horrible formation. Let me see if I can put these guys in proper formation. There we go. Spearmen, get over here. Sorry, swordsmen. More swordsmen over there. Axemen. Swordsmen, over here. Axemen, over here. Cavalry, which unit are you? You guys here? They're going to pull up to the tree line. You need to get up here to support the troops. You're the commander. And which one are you? Okay, you Lancers are going to see if you can hit these trees over here and stay hidden without being hit by arrows. Okay, are they really just going to let us shoot at them? I guess because they're shooting at us, so they might as well. Okay, we'll try and take that tower out now. We've already using fire. And maybe we're going to have to move our support troops up a little bit. There come their cavalry. We'll reform these guys over here. Maybe panic them enough to where they cut out with the archers. Can't get rid of the tower until we burn it, but I need you guys to reform up here, so. I guess you can't reform up here, huh? Well, just do what you can. <laughs> need you to reform on the side here, so when they hit that line, we can flank them. You guys are going to be pushing through right behind. You still need to move up. You guys did not move at all. So further up the hill. Got you guys over here. And how's our reinforcements? Okay, we're going to have to go ahead and make a hit for this. Send some pikemen and spears in. Follow that with another unit of pikemen right behind him, along with unit of swords and our heavy axes. You guys are going to line up to try and break them, if we can push them all the way. Need that. Uh, scoot down here a little bit so we can start flanking keep them from breaking through our lines double reinforce that and swordsman where are you uh, thank you for firing those arrows we needed that Here they come. Okay, you can hit them from there. You can hit them from there. And you guys can engage 
freely now. Get rid of that tower, if possible. And what else we got? These guys need to move a little bit quicker. I need to get my general up there. Keep these guys rallied. So we got them. We're surrounding them. We're bleeding around the sides. So swordsmen got pikes and axes and spears. What the reinforcements coming in over here? Excellent. Archers are doing their job. As soon as we can clear that out. Okay, more pikemen. Protect yeah, I'll protect him in a second. We're going to form you guys up right here to push through. Okay, we've made a break. Let's go in. Clear out this side so our horses can go in. Okay. I need you guys to charge up there. Hopefully you don't hit too many of our guys. You guys coming up, and we got swordsmen. We need you to move up, prepare to fight. That's a big unit of swordsmen and archers. We need you to take out everything you can see up there. Okay, they're actually freemen, so we might be able to have that four units of freemen. We're gonna have a big mob out here. Let's start shooting at these guys. When they get there, we'll select something to shoot them with. Okay, you move over there. Counter that. Spearman, swordsman. Heavy axes. Move in. All of you move in. Okay, you guys can now form a good charge on the flank here. Yeah, you guys can quit shooting. Slingers, take care of those guys. Uh, target them if you can. Yeah, there we go. Pikemen, cut them off up here. Spearmen, cut them off up here. Archers, keep firing on them. Spearmen, form a line up here. Swordsmen, hold and ready. Spearmen, hold and ready up here. Nah, I'm gonna make sure the other group don't want to. Hold and ready. Where are archers, you guys need to come in to here. My commander needs to move forward. Fresh troops, coming up. Where are my other archers? Archers, fire at that unit. He's their leader. Swordsmen, move up. Thought we had another. There they are. They're way out here. Okay, you guys need to move up here. Are you out of missiles? Is that what it is? Okay, just move up and engage. Slingers, move up and engage. Since you're all out. Okay, elite axemen. Need you to move up here. Just the other way. No. That's about the only way you can get up there. Okay. Uh, move you to here. Keep bringing it down on them. Okay, they're not coming out, so we're going in. Pikemen, you can reach that back line. Take out those. Keep moving forward. Everyone plowing. Axemen. You're gonna have to start moving up to get in the mosh pit. <laughs> Swordsmen. We need to start engaging the big guy. You can cut your way through. You guys are just sitting out here getting butchered. Do something useful. 
using fire, so can't bring this cavalry in yet. I will turn them around, make them ready. You are going to move over here so you can reinforce your troops. You are going to hopefully push up to here against the same unit. Hit these guys. You've got pikes. You've got spears. Take them out. Swordsmen. Engage over there. Swordsmen. Engage over there. Heavy axes. Engage over there. Spearmen. Run them off. Slingers. Run them off. The enemy refuses to admit defeat. Their unit has rallied. They can keep rallying. We need to start killing some of those archers I've got over there. Guys need to get out of here. Slingers. Yeah, engage him. Archers, engage him. Everyone on their general. The rest of you, push this line back. Don't follow him, though. You can still shoot. I've got a cavalry, three cavalry units in reserve, I believe. We'll go up here. Okay, we need you guys to start forming lines. Yeah, engage them. Form a line over here. I want you to form a good line, though. Pikemen, form a line. There we go. Clear out the area. Spearmen, form a line. Axemen. Engage them. Axemen, engage them. Swordmen, engage them. Pikes, you're going to form a line unless you go in. Oh, he's got reinforcements coming in from that side, so we're going to have to start bringing ours up. Okay, swordsmen, you need to get up here fast. Okay, slingers, I don't know if you can do anything anymore, but you can form a line up here. Okay, you guys need to drive them off. You guys need to drive them off. You guys need to go over there. Somebody drive these guys off, please. Get rid of those guys. You need to attack this wall. That's what's going on here. I got a wall down there. Axemen, attack this wall. Spearmen, attack this wall. Break down that damn wall. Oh. Form up over here. Keep them pushing. I need you to just halt. Attack. Where's my commander? I gotta bring him up here. Everyone, hit that wall that's not doing anything right now. Cavalry, we're gonna come up and prep the charge in. I've got a lot of troops in there. Oh my gosh. Keep the arrows flying. We got anyone out here? Okay, we got swordsmen. We need to move up here. Enemy units have returned to the battle. Well, those guys should be able to hold it for a little while. And we got two archers here that didn't pay attention to my orders. Need you to move up and start firing on these guys. Give them some heavy shot. Break through that armor of theirs. You guys can't shoot anymore. The general has been killed. Excellent. Uh, glad we killed their general. Yeah, you can push them off. Need you guys just to halt, form a line if you can. I guess you can. Drive them back. There we go. Oh, well, there's cavalry up there now, but we've got some spearmen. Spearmen, form some lines if you can. Now, I want you to form a line, but I can't with... Can't see any line there. Okay, just join in the mob. 
Commander, you gotta move in. Okay, you guys need to run. As well as you. And you guys over here, you're gonna have to run up here. Our men have given up and are running for their lives. Well, they're getting hammered on every side, but... If my reinforcements ever get up here... Okay, you. Hold us a line over here. Hold the line. There we go. Prepare to move in. They can't get through your pikes. See if I can form a line on the side, if they can actually get through. Yep, they can. There we go. Because they're blocking themselves now. Can you form a line here? Yes, you can. Excellent. Yeah, well, I don't blame them for running. But I do need you to stay, so let's see if I can... Old study. Spear and horsemen. I mean, swordsmen. Get a hold of those horses. Start cutting them down. You guys getting your formation on the side? I need you to form up over here. Okay, well. I have to pull the general back just a little bit because I don't want to lose him. They should be. Let's give a second wind to someone. Uh, I guess the spearmen. Okay, you guys have held it off fairly well. Well, that's good. Pull back behind these guys. Everyone can pull behind them because... Those pikemen should be able to hold it in spearmen. Okay, you're on the flank. Try it hitting from the flank. Move in. Attack. Okay, you are going to go over here and stay and stay alive. Okay, everybody. Stop those horses. Spearmen up there should be doing something. Okay, you guys can not melee them, I guess. Huh? Okay. Where is the cavalry? Okay, you guys here can move in and start taking these guys out. Uh, move you around that side there if you can. Swordsman, take out that general. Well, try and rally him again. Yeah, we can't let their general go though. Can you get that general? Calvary, if they can, get over there, Cat. All right, there you go. Guys, go after that general. Don't let him get away. Can form up in here. A long line. I don't know what line you're forming. It's a narrow one. Okay, you guys are going to have to push through the crowd to catch them. They're hired mercenaries, so... Well, kill them all fast. <laughs> okay, we got the side block, so they're not coming, other than they keep shooting arrows at us. Let's see if we can get these... Did we get through general? I think we did. The other troops we would like to get, but if we get through general, that's good enough. 
Okay, we'll go ahead and we'll take a quick look at the horrible mess of humanity here. These guys are all lined up. Yeah, they're celebrating. Okay, I think we did it. Painfully. Which were a poor attack to begin with. So they lost 2,300. We lost 10 out of all. 1,038. 1,038, I was going to say. Uh, we did kill the general. That's good. So this will help our finances. And then new territory should help our finances as well. Looks like we got all their commanders. Uh, that's good. They have 31 remaining, and we'll occupy the land. We're not going to damage it. Orders. Okay. And what have we got here that needs to be rebuilt? So we've got the entire province now. Village. Okay, this seems to be intact with ours, so we can go ahead and build that. Sacred ground. We don't have one of those. We'll fix that. Farmstead. We do have one of those. So we might tear that down and see what else we can build there. Our sanitation is still one turn away. We need a new technology. We're going to have to do some economic stuff now. Uh, Lord Master Quarters Tavern Great Hall. That sounds profitable. A bone cover. I know this leads to some better military, so as well. So we'll go ahead. Well, we've got the colors back now. All right. This army is suffering attrition because uh, they're out in the cold. See if we can get him back down there. This guy needs a, to dump some right now because. None of these lands just lost anything, did they? Wow, that's, that's a, okay. Mercenary axemen. Let's get rid of them. Try to get rid of them. There we go. Cut down our costs. Traumatic pikes. This is another mercenary here. Get rid of them. Get rid of one full unit of those guys. And. I think the Jutes might not be interested in attacking us. Because I want them to hold out. Then we, we only have to worry about the Danes. I think the Danes are uh, engaged in war themselves. So. Let's take a look. Let's see. They got to trade with us, and they're fighting, yeah, the Rogarians. So. Rugarians. Uh, I don't want to get over there yet. That's a coast I don't need. Okay, so what do our finances look like? Extra income, 1100 At least we're making a profit. Very unhappy people right now. We'll have to do some decrees. We're... Actually, using the best one right now, I think. Yeah, it's this one, which is public order. Oh, we have troops moved into the cities now, so that should uh, also add to the uh, public order and perhaps less conflict. Let's see how we can boost uh, Fairmund. Fairmund has two skill points. This is cunning and construction costs. He's not really a governor, although he's usually here, but next level of this will give us plus six for infantry units, plus six for morale. I'm gonna do that. And then this is cavalry. So we're gonna go ahead and spend it on that. And I believe his army gets a tradition. So this is plus two integrity win in own or allied territory. Plus three morale during force battles ambush. 
start with this. Yeah, plus four integrity win in allied territory. What about these? Plus four growth, local province, yeah, horde. It's done well from agriculture. Well, I'm going to do that. I'll change his symbol and his army name later. Let's see if uh, Yenabod has anything to uh, boost. No experience, but he may have some houses. Nope, don't want that one because we're going to get minuses. Construction, minus five. Research, plus three. We'll do that. Yenabod and, yeah, Elmerk, the only true heir, is just putting out the kids that aren't his, or his wife's putting them. I'm, I'm blaming him, but uh, I guess she could be responsible too. She she has a part in it. Well, if if they're coming from her, she has a part in it. If, if he's just picking them up off the street, then yeah. And this guy wants to study under someone. This is actually pretty handy here. So we can train him, make him a retainer. I'll make him retainer for Fairmont. If I can. There we go. So he'll now gain experience from working with Fairmont, which is good. And does Fairmont have any uh, same horrid house? We need to get another house. There he's got this other one, which is working well. And. Well, we've secured this province with some horrible computer glitches. Not sure what was going on there. Have some farms building. So our food should, well, we're, actually there were 79 food. So we're got a good surplus. Average uh, fertility. So even with average fertility, we're doing pretty good. Province effects. Chamber falters during hard times. Wealth minus, yeah, that's because of that one effect. Research is at plus two, yeah. Wealth plus 10 from industry. And indifferent populace. The people of this province are indifferent to current affairs. Well, at least they're not mad. We're on our way to one more turn. We're going to have uh, the ability to fix some of this pollution so we don't end up with a dead populace from disease. The green is disease and the red is uh, pollution which leads to disease. Uh, so we actually did a favor to uh, the members of uh, Angulus, Angulus uh, which we'll have to rename probably in the next episode. Grayshore is I hell. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll come up with a name for it. And that in theory we still have Ang, uh, an angle tribe out there, I believe. Maybe they'll buy us off for peace. We'll see. But I think we're... Uh, let's see what we have here. A few strong arms. Uh, looks like Egbert passed away in that battle. And the Jotun Slayers. Commanding. Uh, don't know who is commanding. Commanding the Newton Slayers, rank one. Oh, sorry. It's right on top. Willard. Okay, this faction is no match for them, so we completely destroyed the angles. Uh, I feel bad about that. Frankish men know how to get their points across. Ha ha ha. I didn't know they made little jokes in there. Frankish mercenary. Okay, and. Oh, good. These guys are fighting the Roman Empire. That means there'll be nothing left by the time we get there. And more people fighting the Roman Empire. These guys are dead, I thought. Maybe, maybe not. Okay. And we have lots of buildings. Construction, sanitation buildings. Okay, so... If we ever can get our sanitation technology through... Looks like our governor's doing well, except our governor might be gaining too much prominence. Yeah, well, what's our general there? But what's our what's our governor up to here? We might have to marry him into the family. 
Yeah. My 15 for armor, that's that's okay. He's actually got a lot of things there, so. Well, for now, he's actually doing a good job. And all these guys are waiting to get promoted. We're going to have to raise more armies, though, because we're going to have a hard time holding off. All the barbarians were beefing off. Who we got down here? The Ma oh, Mackermans. Okay. And this is Lingelbards. No, the Alamans. Have the uh, Lingelbards been destroyed? Where are the Lingelbards? Because they were an ex victim. The Lingelbards, I guess I didn't see it, but the Lingelbards are no more. Which means we have. Well, I don't have to worry about breaking that treaty. Of the Markomans. Sorry, the Markomans. They don't like us. And who are they at war with? The Langobards. Yeah. Wherever they may be. Okay. Well, that means... Oh, okay, they're migrating, so we can easily continue Greetings. to make deals with them. Speak plainly and without idle purpose, and all will be yeah. well. Actually, sure I can have you guys join war against the Markomans when we go to war. Jutes, can we strengthen our relationship well, with you? Friend, sit and let your words move me to anger or agreement as you wish of them. Okay, let's talk about the trade agreement. Still not liking it, huh? I don't know what we did to you. These guys admire the Eastern Roman Empire, but we don't have a lot of minuses on them. Okay. Oh. I can tell you right now, I do. Jutes, you're, there's going to be a point where... Oh, the Danes and the Gates Gates are going to come after you, and then you'll want to be friends. These guys absolutely don't like us, and we, other than we, we do everything they don't like. Big minus there on the Roman Empire thing. That's hurting us with a lot of live tribes. Caledons. Caledians. Uh, well, these guys are happy with us, so... Maybe we can work out something Welcome. here. Welcome. Speak. Come on. Do not waste time. Better spend it hunting. Okay. Uh, I, I won't. Let's see if we can get military access. No. I don't think so. That allows us to go in the territory without starting a major war. If it does. Well, I think we'll hold it off there. And hopefully I will uh, we'll find out what's causing the mysterious black, black screen. It might be something else running or I might have uh, virus software that's interfering with it. Uh, anyway, thanks thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to uh, post them in the comments. Uh, if you like the video, do, do give it a like or tell your friends about it or share it around however you want to. Uh, again, like I said, last ap episode, it's been so long since I've posted videos, I'm not even going to bother to talk about, well, I'm talking about subscribing, but what I'm saying is I'm not going to bother to ask right now. You need to let me get some consistent videos out. You'll know when to subscribe if you want to. However, you can catch me on uh, Twitch TV broadcasting live on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. That's 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, minus 5 Universal. Uh, it'll either be this game or similar games to it. And I'm Twitch TV slash Ison Quinn. Or you can follow me on Twitter. I'm Quinn Ison, just the reverse of my, my name here. But before anything else flips out, it goes weird. We're going to end it here or before my population overthrows uh, my kingdom. Thanks for watching. Remember to have a good day and I hope to virtually see you again next time.